Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training and in this video we're in Google Sheets and what we've got to do is we've got to combine all these separate sheets for the individual branches within our company Aberdeen, Belfast, Cardiff and Sheffield combine all of that data into a master sheet and we want to do it in a way that if we were to add new transactions to any of our sheets the master sheet would automatically update. So how do we do this? Well, we can actually achieve all of this with a formula and we're going to use the query function. So what I've done is I've gone to the master sheet and I've clicked into the first cell that I want to deliver that data into. So we're going to start with the query function. So equals query open bracket. Now, the first argument in the query function is data. And we are going to refer to arrays of data. So we start off with some brace brackets. Okay. Then you go to your first sheet. And what you do is you select all of that data on that sheet. You don't need your column headings. And you can see it says A2 to A2 F21. Now, essentially, we just want to start in A2, but we want to go down as far as there is data on the sheet. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the 21. You can see now that little uh, dashed orange range that's shown on my sheet goes all the way down uh, to the bottom of the sheet, over to column F, and then all the way down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm then going to put a semicolon in. And I've got to do that for the other sheets, that exact same thing. Now I could go through and select the individual sheets. Or what's probably easier is if I just copy what I've got here. And I'm going to paste, paste it in again. I'm just going to change this sheet name. So this one will be Belfast. And then I put another semicolon in. Paste in again. And I'm going to say Cardiff, semicolon, paste in again. And then the last one is Sheffield. And then those are all the arrays that I want to include in the data argument of the query function. So what I'm going to do is close that off with a close brace bracket. So let's now deal with this second argument, the query argument. So I'm going to put a comma in to introduce that query argument. And what we're going to have to do is write a query that excludes any blank rows within these arrays that we've specified in the data argument. And if you think about it, we've kind of made, we've kind of future proof these arrays by saying uh, it's basically all the data in columns A through to F uh, and basically not just rows not just the rows that we're currently using but all the rows in that sheet now most of those rows are blank so what we'll end up with in our master sheet is our data for example Aberdeen and then a whole load of blank rows then our data for Belfast and then a whole load more blank rows so it's great that we've kind of future proofed these little arrays here. So if we add more data, that'll end up in our master sheet. But as it is, as the data is, as it will be returned at the moment, we'd end up with a whole load of blank rows uh, in our master sheet. So we need to exclude those rows. Now, the query we're going to write for this is fairly simple. You enclose it within speech marks. So we're going to say select all data. So we do that with an asterisk where col one now make sure you have a capital C for that lowercase c won't work where column one is not null okay so basically what we're saying is there only include rows where there is a date in column A now if I press enter you'll see that it returns all that data so if I go down, I can see I've got all the sheets data there. 
Great, so it's got all the data, but what I want to test is whether if I add a record to the Aberdeen data, will it end up displaying in the master sheet? So let's try that out. I'm going to put today's date in, control semicolon, Aberdeen. And all I'm going to say is basics. Uh, let's say it's flam pan. Uh, let's say we ordered six and they come in at 67 pounds. Then I'll do a little sum here. Well, multiplication here. They give me that data. So third of the first is today's date. Is it going to appear in the master sheet? Let's look down there. There we have it. So it's automatically appeared. Obviously, it didn't appear at the bottom because it's part of the Aberdeen data. And it's appeared there nicely. Now, just to go back to this query. At the moment, what it's doing is it's picking up records or rows within each set of data where column one is not null. So this depends entirely on you always entering a date for that record. If, for example, you hadn't entered a date for the record, but you'd entered information in one of the other columns, then I'm afraid this query won't pick up that record. So what you can do is just add a little bit more to the query. Now what I'm going to do is just copy this bit that says col one is not null. And I'm going to say or and paste it in col two is not null. So what that basically means is that column one would need to contain data or column two would need to contain data in order for the record to be included within the master sheet. Now you might do that for each column just to absolutely make sure that the records are picked up. It depends on your data. It may, it's, it's unlikely that just one column would have data in it. But if you wanted to make sure that just in case there was data missed out on any of the columns in your database, you might just put in, for example, column one is not null or column two is not null or column three is not null up to how many columns you have in your data. I'm not going to do it now on here, but I think you get the data. You get the idea. Just copy and paste that over for the number of columns that you have in your database. Press enter and it should include it. Okay, that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan.